YouTube Shorts. As their name suggests, they are short clips no longer than 60 seconds. A lot of people have made a decent amount of money with them up until this point. And in this tutorial, I will show you how every single one of you watching this video right now can do the same. But the thing is that you will not have to film a single thing. So no camera, no smartphone device, or anything like that. And I'll show you a way to make money by using YouTube Shorts, but without the ad revenue, which, let's face it, doesn't pay you that much anyway. If you want to set up this income stream, a passive income stream that is, for yourself, then you really want to keep watching so you know exactly what you have to do. And with all of that said, let's now get into this video. You've all heard me right. Today, I will show you how you can make money on YouTube without the ad revenue whatsoever. And on top of that, I will show you how to do that without having to bother to film anything. It's as easy as it gets. But since there are quite a few platforms involved, make sure you don't skip ahead since you'll probably just end up confused. Anyhow, the very first website you need to go over to today is actually going to be YouTube. And what you now want to do on YouTube is search for videos in one particular niche. Any popular niche. It could be basically anything you want to. Anything you think will get a big number of views. And yes, I did say we won't be making money from the ad revenue, but you will see how the number of views will directly impact your income despite that. As an example, in this video, I went with the animal niche. So I typed in funny cats, as you can see. And this is a really good example because people love cats. And these funny cat videos literally have the potential to go viral. Many you see on the screen right now have. It's actually hard to find a video that doesn't have millions of views. What you want to do from here, though, is you want to click on filters here, and then you want to filter by creative commons. And what this does, for those oblivious, is it allows you to download and then upload these videos as if they were your own. And no, you will not just download a video and re-upload it to your channel for two reasons. Number one, it's not a short. All of these are longer than 60 seconds. And number two, it doesn't have the right resolution to be a short. I will show you soon how to fix those two issues. For now though, you need to pick a good video to use. Just find one that you think is the best or one that you feel like has the highest chance of getting as many views as possible. Go along with it. You'll then want to download that video as many of you probably predicted. Just copy its link, go over to Google and search for YouTube to MP4 and open up any one of these sites. In my example, I opened up this one here called yts1.com. And now what I need to do in my case is paste the link in here, click on convert, then on get link, and I will now be able to see the download button. When I click on it, the video will be downloaded to my PC free of charge. The next step you need to undertake now that you have downloaded a video of your own choosing is to head over to a platform that is a huge part of this strategy, and it's this one here called canva.com. Many of you have heard about this site by now. It's a designer's website. On here, you can come and design a bunch of stuff like websites, business cards, Instagram posts, and so much more. Once you sign up and log into your account on Canva here, a process I won't go through, you'll now want to click on this video here and then on mobile video right over here. Now, the reason we are doing this is because we want to use Canva to fix the two issues with the video I mentioned before. We need it to be just 60 seconds long at most, and we need it to be in a mobile resolution that we can upload as a short. And Canva will prove immensely valuable to us in fixing those problems. Once you go to the editor, predictably, you want to upload the video on here that you downloaded a while back. Click on Uploads on the left-hand side, select Videos here, and then click on Upload Media and open up that video from your PC. And you can see, guys, here's my video. And you can all see that I've done some things to the video as well. And I will now walk you through the entire process so you understand what I did and why. First and foremost, when you open your video, it will have black bars to the left and right of it. And so you will want to adjust the video like I have to hide the black bars on the sides. You also want to make sure you keep a bit of space at the top and bottom of the video so you can write in the text, link in the description. You will see what link I'm talking about in a moment, by the way. 
Anyhow, with the resolution issue now sorted, this video can be uploaded as a short on YouTube. And you now have to address the other issue, the length of the video. So what you want to do is watch the entire video, either on Canva or just open it up on your PC, and you want a section that's no longer than 60 seconds. When you find that one part of the video you like, you want to cut out just that part. And here's how to do that. First, click on the actual video like so, and then click on the scissors up here. This will allow you to trim the video. And from here, you will drag these two lines, so to speak, to cut out the part of the video that you want to. In my case, I just decided to cut the first 60 seconds of my video as an example, so I don't prolong the video. Anyhow, when you're done cutting out the sections of the video you want, you can save your changes by clicking on Done in the upper right corner. And now that you've done that, you can actually upload this video on YouTube as a short. And you also don't have to worry about copyright problems either. And so I want you guys now to download the video by clicking on the download button here. Then go over to YouTube, click on this icon here, then on upload video just below, and open up the video from your PC. What you will now want to do is fill out info about your soon-to-be short, like title, description, tags, all of that stuff. What's very important to note is that the title must contain hashtag shorts at the end, so YouTube recognizes it as a short and not your regular video. In any case, you want to type in a good title for your new short now. Just think of something creative that you think will draw a lot of people to the video. In my example, I typed in funniest cat ever. If you went with a video in the animal niche, you could also type in something like that, since that will certainly draw a lot of people to your video. Next, you want to copy and paste the title of your video into the description. This is so the YouTube algorithm picks up these exact keywords and allows you to get a better number of views. The next thing you will be able to see is the thumbnail, and I highly recommend leaving it be like so, since short thumbnails tend to not do very well compared to thumbnails on your regular videos. In any case, now comes the next part, tags. You want to type in a few tags to your video so it gets as many views as possible. You don't need too many tags, do keep that in mind, but you do need to type in a few here and there. From here, guys, there's really nothing else noteworthy about the upload process apart from the end screen. Once you upload a few shorts, I do recommend adding an end screen with another short of yours so you get some people to perhaps binge watch your videos and get you a better number of views. Now that you have this video basically done comes the really important part. You will need to head over to the website that will actually be paying us today. The site in question is this one right here called teespring.com. This is the website from where you guys will want to copy a link and paste it in your description. A link that will make you money, and you will see what I'm talking about in a moment. First off though, what is Teespring for those of you who don't know? Well, it's a place where you can design a bunch of products that you can then sell for money. And it's Teespring who will take care of basically most of the work. If you design a t-shirt, for example, Teespring will print the shirt, ship the shirt, so you don't have to do any work whatsoever once you've designed it, making it a really powerful website to make money online. And what I want you guys to do now on Teespring is sign up. I'll skip that process again since this is already going to be a long video already. Once you sign up, you'll now be taken to this page. You will be able to design an item of your own choosing. Even though you can design anything and make money off of it, I think t-shirts would make you the most money by far, so I would recommend focusing on them in particular. You'll be able to select a t-shirt on this page already, as you can see. From here, you will go ahead and design your t-shirt, as simple as that. How you will design it will depend on what your video is all about. If you have a short about cats, like I have, then you would need a shirt with a cat photo on it or something. To add the photo, I just need to click on Add Image here. The image you can find easily on Google. Just type in Cat PNG, select Images here, then click on Tools and select Creative Commons Licenses. This will allow you to use any of the icons for your new shirt. You can download them and put them on your soon-to-be t-shirt. 
By the way, you could also add text to make your shirt that much more appealing, and I would recommend doing so. Just play with Teespring a bit, guys, and try to design the best shirt you can. When you're done, you'll be able to get a link from Teespring through which people will be able to buy the actual shirt. The link you will want to put in your description and write something like best cat merch here or something like that. And since in my case, my audience would want a cat video short, there's a huge chance that somebody might want to purchase a cat t-shirt for themselves. And when they do, I would earn like 10 bucks or so since Teespring gets a cut of my profits. Point being, though, that once you upload your short onto YouTube and add the link of your Teespring store in the description, you'd be making money passively, doing basically no work and without the ad revenue at all. How crazy is that? The potential here is enormous, especially if you went with a popular niche like I have. As I said way back in the beginning, your views will directly impact your income, not because of the ad revenue, but because more people seeing your video means more people also get to see that you're selling t-shirts, and thus you would get more sales and make more money in the end. If you got value out of this video, learned something, and all around enjoyed it, then smash the like button down below for support. Also, check out the videos that'll pop up in just a moment. You might like them too. As I upload videos on a daily basis, you really want to subscribe and turn on the notifications and you'll get notified whenever a new video pops up. As always, thank you all for watching and see you all soon in some of the upcoming videos.